Good morning. We're doing the laws of the Seder. We're on Mishnah Bura, Or Chaim, Tuf Ayin Bez, Ches, 472.8. And today we're going to talk about the four cups of wine on the Seder. We're not going to finish today, but we'll uh, we'll start talking about the four cups. And then next week we'll get more uh, specific about exactly how much you have to drink. Now the first halacha. Tzarech Lishtos Arba Kosos Ala Seder. You have to drink four cups of wine Ala Seder. Meaning that you have to drink the cups where it says in the Haggadah. You can't just say, sit down and say, all right, four cups of wine, let me go. One, two, three, four. Besides getting pretty drunk, drinking that fast, one does not fulfill the mitzvah of the four cups. The imshasan ze'achar ze'ah, shalok ha'seder le'yatza. If someone drinks four cups in a row, not the way it says in the Haggadah, he does not fulfill his obligation of the four cups. Okay, ala seder, says the Mishnah Bura. Perush, Shiyom Ragada bin Taim, you have to say the Haggadah between them. Ze achar ze, one after the other. Vikol shechein im shavchan, im shavchan kulon bikos echad, ushasim lo yatsa. Or the more so if you take four cups and you put it into one big cup, one big goblet, and you drink it, not even four cups, of course you don't fulfill the obligation. Now what about this? What happens if you have one big cup, very, very big, a lot of wine in it, and you don't have four separate cups, you have this one big cup, and during the Haggadah, you uh, drink it four times. You drink from the same cup four times. Do you fulfill your obligation? Is that called four cups of wine? So the Primagadim says you did not fulfill the obligation. The Arba Kos is beaten because you need specifically four cups of wine. Lo Yatsa. So if you did this, you just drank four cups in a row. You have to go back and you have to drink three more cups during the Haggadah. You did not fulfill your obligation, you just got drunk for no reason. You have to make a blessing on each cup. And you have to make a blessing on, on each cup. And it's not considered, we mentioned the other day, that there's an issue of appearing that you, making it look like you're adding additional cups of wine to drink, right? There's a prohibition that we shouldn't make it look that we're required to drink four more cups of wine. But that's not an issue here because you didn't fulfill your obligation with the first cups. Even if you just drink the fourth cup right after the third cup, you didn't fulfill your obligation of the fourth cup. Because they all have to be in order. So the rule is, follow the say, follow the Haggadah, follow the rules where it says, now you should drink the first cup, now you should drink the second cup, third cup, and fourth cup, and so on. You have to do it that way to fulfill the mitzvah of the four cups of wine. Because if you drink them right next to each other, at the, uh, right in a row, one does not fulfill the obligation. And also, one needs to have four separate cups. I don't mean four like different cups, but you have to refill, you know, you refill the same cup. You can't just have a big cup to drink four times. Okay, so now we're going to start to see how much how much wine does one have to drink, and um, we'll talk about next week exactly. We'll we'll translate that into uh, maybe more uh, contemporary measurements that we're used to. Right today, we'll just read the um, the the Hebrew measurements, but we'll get more specific, uh, specificity next week exactly how much uh, that is. But let's let's read the uh, Shulchan Aruch. Shir hakos, the amount that you have to drink in the cup. Revius is a revius. This is a very common, a common amount that we have to drink for kiddush and whatnot when we do mitzvahs and we drink. La uh, la again. Now after it's um, after it's mixed, in rosh with mosgu. If you want to mix the wine, now what this means is back in the day the wine was like concentrated. It was very very um, very strong, very potent, and if you didn't mix it with water. One did not really fulfill the obligation because it wasn't drinkable wine. It was like super strong and it wasn't something that you could drink. But nowadays we don't we don't uh, mix the wine with water because we um, it's all ready. It's all ready to drink. Vishtakula orubo, and you have to drink all of it or most of it. Vimeshbaharvios, let's say you have many revi many revios. You have uh, Revius was the smallest amount that you have to drink, but let's say you have a lot of that amount in your cup. So shows me menu kolkach bnei adam kemini revius shabo. Then let's say you have ten revius in your cup, you have a very big cup. Then you could share your cup with ten other people because they would each have a revius. That's one opinion in the Shulchan Aruch. The second opinion is v'yesh omrim shetzarich lishtos rov hakos afilu machzik kama revius. Some say that you have to drink the majority of your glass of wine even if there are many reviews in, in there. And this opinion, we try to 
of its uh, in this opinion we try to be stringent on so if you have a very large cup of wine uh, on Pesach really the best thing to do is to drink the entire cup so this is something to keep in mind when you're choosing which glass to use for your four cups because there is a mitzvah to finish at least the majority of the wine in the cup so if you can't handle a lot of wine you should make sure you have a normal sized cup that you can drink the wine but also it has to be at least a revius you can't just have like a tiny shot glass because that's not going to be enough that's not a revius you have to have a normal sized glass but don't make it too big because then it would be um you wouldn't be able to fulfill this opinion of drinking the most of the glass and again next week we'll talk about how much it will we'll talk about how much exactly revius is what's the minimum size for the glass and all that Concludes the Ramah here, You have to drink the wine without a large interruption, pause in between them. Because if you drink, you have to drink a certain amount. And if you drink that amount, but you wait like five minutes or ten minutes in between drinking the cup or whatever it is, we'll talk about that amount also next week, one does not fulfill his obligation. So it has to be, the wine has to be consumed in that uh, period of time. So you don't have to like rush like crazy, but you can't just like take sips like every five minutes. One does not fulfill his obligation with that. Okay, so just to summarize, the four cups have to be have to be uh, drunk a la Seder. They have to be consumed where the Haggadah says they are supposed to be drunk. And also, one has to at least have a revius, but preferably when he drinks the cup of wine, he should finish the majority of the cup of wine. And again, next week, Billy Netter will talk about exactly how much that is. And I wish everyone a great day and a beautiful Shabbos.